Imagine this. You're in the middle of cleaning your home when suddenly you notice that your vacuum has lost its suction power, and it's not picking up any dirt or debris. You start to wonder what could be causing this issue. Is the filter clogged? Is the hose blocked? Or maybe the motor is just worn out? Don't worry, in this video we'll walk you through some simple steps to troubleshoot the vacuum's no suction, and fix your vacuum so you can get back to cleaning your home in no time. The Vacuum Settings If your vacuum isn't sucking like it used to, you might want to check your vacuum settings. Most likely, you're using the wrong height setting for your carpet, which can make it miss dirt or be a pain to push around. But fear not, there's a solution to this common problem. For carpets, hardwood floors, and tiles, the lowest setting is usually best. This gets your vacuum close to the ground and picks up all the dirt and dust. The floor head failure of the vacuum. After checking the setting issues if your vacuum has no suction then it's likely experiencing a blockage in your vacuum. So, it's time to check the floor head, since it's the part where dirt gets first contact, it gets clogged with dirt and debris often, resulting in blocking the airflow. To fix it, first disassemble the floor head from the vacuum cleaner. Check for any blockages in the suction path and clear them by gently pushing objects like hair or dirt backward through the suction hole. Once the blockage has been cleared, reattach the floor head and test the vacuum cleaner for suction. Inspect the intake port. This area is located at the bottom of your vacuum and if it's clogged with debris, it will cause a decrease in suction power. The solution? Simply remove any debris that may be blocking the intake port. Check the hose pipe. Sometimes, it's just because of a damaged hose pipe. Cracks or holes in the hose can cause air leaks and reduce suction. These leaks are easy to identify that's why it's best you start with hose pipe inspection first. If there's no visible hole or crack, then you should give it a good clean, use a broom handle to unclog it, run water through it, and let it air dry. The Faulty Filter The filter is like the lungs of your vacuum, and if it's clogged with dirt and dust, then your vacuum's airflow is restricted, leading to poor suction power and can even cause your vacuum to overheat and shut down. So, what's the solution? To be honest, there's no DIY stuff you can do here. If your vacuum has a washable filter, you should wash it in cool water with a mild detergent every three months or as needed. And if your vacuum uses a two-filter system, it's recommended that you replace one of the filters every six months. By following these maintenance tips, you'll be able to keep your vacuum suction power at its best. That's all for today's, remember if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more cleaning tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.